All right, Mary, I wanted to give you a little view of Apollo. Going on a walk with me this evening on our evening walk. Um, you talked about um, going on trail walks and kind of an adventure. We kind of call this an adventure dog sometimes. And what I wanted to show you is why I think Apollo will be exceptionally good at this. Um, we have a little trail uh, through our property here. Um, it's not real long. Oh, stop to go potty. Um, and what you'll see throughout this, we got a little stream right here through the woods, uh, some different terrain to go through, and we finished our potty break. And Apollo, you'll notice, has no leash on. He is just out here with me. And this is what I've been talking about with him being um, in tune with the person that he is, um, he wants to be with you. Um, he won't get more than 10 yards from me out here uh, with no leash on, um, you know, no training collar, nothing like that. This is just him. This is his personality of, he will explore and he'll check things out and he'll be a dog, but he will never range more than 10 steps away from me. Um, that's just kind of his style, um, which is not good for a gun dog, but it is terrific for a companion dog or adventure dog or uh, whatever we want to call it. Um, so we're just kind of got our little path here out through the woods and we got some, uh, some dogwood thickets and out here. And you can see I haven't called him to me once. He just kind of sticks close, you know. And this is kind of, it's really nice because I think you could take him about anywhere and he is going to be like this um, with just about anyone. He would want to stay close without having to worry about him being on a leash or getting out and running off or whatever. He definitely puts his nose down and is smelling and checking things out, exploring. But a lot of dogs, especially a lot of you know, dogs bred of this caliber tend to um, ignore you um, when they're out here. They kind of go into hunting. Oh, you're a good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good. Um, Apollo is not that way. <laughs> He's right here beside me, just excited and happy about being on a walk. Um, you know, that's, this is his, I would say is his default personality is being like this. Something else I wanted to mention um, about him, since you're getting a good a close up view of him right here. So Apollo is, I believe we're 14 months. Um, and I would say that this is probably the most lanky he will be. What I mean by that is, um, this is probably, at this point he's probably 95, maybe even 98% of his bone growth in terms of size is done at this point. So he will be about this size. Now, what he will do is he will put on a fair amount of weight. Um, I expect, see how he's kind of almost a little bit scrawny. He's kind of like a, like a gangly teenager, you know, who's grown, you know, four inches over the summer and then all of a sudden you know, <laughs> looks really leggy and lanky. Um, but um, he will fill out over the next year. Usually by the time they get to say, oh, around 20 to 24 months um, for most males is when we see them really have their muscle tone um, developed. Um, so he'll kind of continue to develop as he grows. But as far as his size, he won't get much taller or longer. He will get a little bit heavier. He'll build some more muscle definition. But in terms of going for a walk and being your best buddy, I mean, this is, that's, Apollo was made for that. He's just, you know, happy to follow along with me wherever we go without constantly nagging the dog, no getting drug on a leash, none of that. Um, that's just not his style. So um, even here, where we're out in the wide open. Um, there's even the other dogs are over here. Apollo's just right here with me. Um, 
He may range a little bit right here because this is our primary field. But that is a good look at our boy Apollo. <laughs>